it's been a while. Uh, not much reason, but anyway. So, a couple of weeks ago, the light in my kitchen started to die and there was this final pop sound that came from it, which makes me guess that something was wrong. Now, first off, no, I did not take this off myself. I'm in a rental property. This is through public housing. And I would have gotten into a hell of a lot of trouble if I did. I did, however, ask the electrician to leave this, if I could keep it. I wanted to see you know, what exactly went wrong with this. This is the second unit in my flat that's broken. And before I show you the inside, understand that when I moved in here about five years ago, I think it was now, I was told this was energy efficient lighting. You know, this was the best on the market, blah, blah, blah. Best in the market, my ass. So, as you can see here, the damage is pretty much this area, which is actually kind of nice. Now, something else to point out, this was where the earth, where it was actually earthed, but this wasn't, in, this, all these uh, light fittings weren't actually earthed until later. Like, I had been living here for about, I think, two years. They sent someone around to earth these. <laughs> when they renovated the flats, I mean, obviously they didn't do everything they should have. Which just goes to show why you don't do things on the cheap. So, to flip it over. Yeah, that's basically it. Not much. So, the first thing we're going to try to get out is the actual driver itself. Now, from what I understand, this is supposed to step up the voltage. And the instructions on here say nothing about that. Okay, let's see if I can remove this. Actually, before I do that, I probably should remove the wiring. So the video is recording this, the orientation. Won't actually need to know this, but hey, what do you know? To be honest with you, I think it might actually be worth recovering these two. They're actually quite fun. I should try to keep more of these when they do finally blow and well. Yeah. So I've got them out. Hey, I was lucky with this one. That was my fear that these would uh, not come off very easily. Yep. Also, ow. Okay, just a sec. Pair of hobby pliers. Always something you sort of keep around. Oh, it slipped out. Still, I don't want that sitting there. One thing that surprises me is why on earth they use this foam material it 
really didn't prevent insects from getting in there. I've had to clean these out on a regular basis. Well, this part, the little buggers would gather up through, well, the bottom of that. It's not a pleasant sight. Okay, so I can toss that away. And we're left with this little box. So this will be the step up, trans uh, step up driver. I was gonna call it a transformer, but if it's gonna have coils of wire, they're not gonna be very big. And for me, a transformer is heavy. I can see these uh, four little holes, so I'm just propping them up. I can smell that. <laughs> Ooh, something strong definitely went in this. Okay, so got a fuse. Sorry, the light in here isn't very bright. I'll just bring this up. Use the screen on here to take a closer look. So those two electrolytics look like they have gone pop. I should check that fuse. I'm having difficulty actually looking at it and seeing if it's still working. Diodes look interesting. Ooh, 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 found out what went wrong. Hello. That fuse. Ooh, that definitely burnt out. Man, this thing is filthy. What the hell? Oh, wait, there's a second one. There we go. So I'm making an assumption, but if you were to put a much higher value, re well, larger style resistor in there, I think these are all like quarter watt. I'm pretty sure that's a resistor too. Well, what's left of it. So I'll use this for pointing. Now I'm going out on a limb here and I'm going to guess that that component there and that component there are the reasons why this failed. But I'm also going to guess that this was poorly manufactured because it's full of, well, crap. Anyway, I want to test out that use see looking at this my assumption would be that you'd only need one of these little transformers I'm guessing one must be a choke or something On the inside it's definitely a lot more uh, I didn't think it was going to be that exciting honestly I was half expecting a capacitor of going pop but nope it must have been the fuses yeah oh, sorry not fuses resistors resistors went pop this thing out. Okay, so this resistor here obviously went quite violently. <laughs> Man. I'm 
two things I'm going to be careful of. One, putting dirt in my face. Two, holy cow, that looks crap. Well, the solder mask. Wow, this is really low end. I mean, some of these solder joints are just, there's too much solder on them. So, this J here is a link. It looks like it's supposed to link two sides of the bottom of the board. And that is all touching this diode. Here, can I get this in? Can you see this wire here? Yeah, that's touching this diode. I don't like that. Um, but if you take a closer look, I mean, that is way too much solder on these joints. Well, at least on most of these joints. And look here, you even just got this giant blob right here. And it's just ah. Oh god, to think I got more of these in my flat. Um I highly doubt housing choices are gonna turn around and replace all the light things just because of this. I mean it's not hazardous, it's just pathetic. I mean if you look on the side here, that and it's probably more of that uh, resistor. It definitely was a violent explosion. I mean, bah. So, if I flip this over, this fuse goes from here to here. Okay, so that fuse is still intact. Um, <laughs> I've still got a few of these working. Um, I mean, this this thing couldn't have been so poorly designed that when the light actually blows, it just loses itself and goes critical. I mean, that would be. Oh wait, no, that's that would be possible. And of course, why build something that's actually going to be reliable? I mean, I can't... This is dirty. I'm sorry to say it, but this just looks dirty to me. I mean, the, these, these two electrolytics here, they're covered in crap. I'm pretty sure it's not from this going critical. So... I just honestly if I was going to do a thorough job I'd be testing out these two components here see how they're going and these capacitors look like they're okay I might try to recover that but I definitely want to pull these off although it's in a bit of a weird configuration so I got a feeling that everything on the ace Hold on. Trying to understand electronics here. Uh, anyone who actually watches this, a lot more experienced than me, isn't there supposed to be isolation between the mains and the output? Just, I, mean, I can't imagine that full 10 amps going through this is going to be healthy. Anyway, um, I'm going to put this video to an end and upload it. So, yeah, this has been this has been interesting. Anywho, see ya.